Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast. Today, we're talking about muting yourself and not your team. Are you ready? Let's get started. Well, you've been on virtual meetings and you all know there's a mute button. Most people like to turn the mute button on and keep it on, right? They either start with it that way, they immediately put it on, and they keep it on throughout the meeting. The mute button. So why do they do it? Well, there's some, there's some logical reasons why people put on the mute button, some even valid reasons. The first one is background noise. I was on a virtual meeting just earlier today when someone was in a location where they were just they were demolishing a building next door. It was better that she was on mute except when she needed to speak. So background noise, which could be anything. It could be your dogs, it could be your kids, it could be the garbage man, it could be anything. If you know there's a lot of background noise, it's a good reason to use the mute button. Second, well, it's easier to multitask, right? If I put the mute on, people may not be able to tell that I'm typing. If the mute is off, it's pretty easy to know that people are typing when they should be listening to the meeting, right? But the other one is they haven't been asked not to. In other words, if every meeting I've been on, we all go on mute, we're just gonna assume that we're supposed to go on mute. That's how we do it. And so if they don't have, if they don't, as my dad used to say, if they don't know any better, of course, that's what they're going to do. Well, I believe there are some reasons we should turn it off or unmute ourselves. And here they are. First, it better simulates an in-person meeting. You remember in-person meetings. We sat around a table and talked, hopefully. And so there wasn't technology to uh, mediate us. And so it was natural. So if we have the mute off, it's closer and easier for us to be having a conversational approach to a meeting, it simulates an in-person meeting. Secondly, when we unmute, it creates the opportunity for conversation. This is a extension of the first point, but we, if we really want conversation, we know that it's like, oh, am I muting, am I not muting? And it's just not as fluid for a conversation, whether this is with a one-on-one -on -one meeting or with a group. And lastly, it avoids that awkward moment. You know, that one when you're going, and then someone has to say, oh, you're on mute. And they go, oh, and then we have to unmute it. It's an awkward moment. It's an unproductive moment. And it can be avoided if we just have our default to be unmuted. Now, all of that's good stuff and maybe, maybe helpful for you. Uh, our default and our team, if everything else being equal for the reasons other than the reasons above is, I want people to be off mute for the reasons we've talked about. Now, but this hasn't really gotten at all of what I... Uh, mentioned at the top of this video. What about you as the leader of the meeting? If you're the leader of the meeting, you're unmuted because you're probably doing the talking. Guess what? You're probably talking too much. I've been in hundreds of meetings with clients, coaching leaders, participating in all sorts of meetings, as an observer, as a consultant, and as a coach. And whether they were in person or virtual, it's almost always true, and it's probably also true for the meetings I lead, that we're talking too much. We need to mute ourselves, right? You need to mute yourself. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean to use the button. But what if, when you really wanted the group to interact, and you really wanted them to talk, that you hit your own mute button. It would keep you, right? It would like make sure that you're not talking over them and you're giving them the chance to get in. But even if you're not gonna actually mute yourself with the button, I'm challenging you and encouraging you to at least mentally use the button. If you want your meetings to be a conversation, if you want your team to engage, You've got to stop talking. You've got to mute yourself and let the team do the talking. Let me summarize with today's tweet. If you want others to speak, you need to be quiet. Hit your mental mute button and give them a chance to engage. You know, once a week we produce these videos. They show up for you as Remarkable TVs or your 
hearing them later in the Remarkable Leadership podcast. But if you like what you get here and you'd like something every day, a little jolt, a little insight, a little inspiration, a little idea, you can sign up for free to our daily email. That's what we call it, the daily email. Monday through Friday, it's free, three to 400 words, all available for you. All you gotta do is subscribe right here. We hope you'll do that. But whether you do or whether you don't, we'll be back here next week with another episode of Remarkable TV and the Remarkable Leadership Podcast.